the green globe as our logo, and our name is about GEO. So what that reminds you, Danny? Oh, I think that you know the globe thing, the geo world, that all that remind me about the you know the sustainable, the the, the environmental concept. Yes, exactly. SuperGeo, we are a GIS software provider. So what is GIS? GIS is a geographic information system. So Danny, can you tell us more about this GIS system? Okay, I think the GIS word, everyone is hearing about the GIS word nowadays. And it actually stands for the Geographic Information System, which is the technology that helps to bring people, the, the real world, into the digital world. And we can do a lot of the different graphs, we can input the metadata, and then helping people to do the analysis and find out more about our world. So then, is this GIS system only to digital maps? Oh, actually, you're part of a right because in the old ways, uh, when the GIS system is developed, it's a cap kind. We, we really focus on the map that uh, from the because the GIS mainly focus on the forestry and also the uh, the rural management in the past. So actually, in the past, we do really is to digitize our world in, into some kind of the digital data, and then we print out the paper map. And then we can store, we can also do some application. But this GIS system can not only be used in forestry, right? Like uh, uh -huh. maybe historical maps? Yes, of course, because I know Patty is the expert in the historical field. And so, yes, of course, it can also be used in the historical field. You can uh, do like, a, like a, a history map, you can also implement different of the information and then print it out and then you can find out more. Okay, so it's about mm -hmm. past, so how about now? How about now? Yes, that's all the question. That our modern life, how GIS implement our modern life is actually everywhere, in every concept. Pepe, can you give a quick example about how GIS implement in our life? Well, um, this red, little red icon reminds me how I came here today. I came here with my mobile phone. Oh, you got a mobile yeah, phone? Yeah, everyone got a mobile phone. Okay. I put the current location and put my target location and my mobile devices will tell me mm. what the best route is. Okay, that is a very good example how GIS influences our life in the modern world. That we, we are now very used to take our mobile phone and find out the route and also we can implement different kind of the special uh, information. And like, um, I'm very starving now because I haven't had my lunch. So if I really want to have a pizza, how do we do, Patty? Well, it's a quite simple. I put out again. my yeah, mobile phone again mm. and uh, put the condition pizza. And uh, well, because it's have a Thai phone and it's wi quite windy right now. Yeah. So I won't want to walk too, too long. So maybe within five minutes work. Mm. Is that also a GIS application? Yes, of course. It's actually another kind of the, a GIS application that helps us to find out more information in our life. Like, uh, I really need a gas station. I really need a good restaurant for tonight. And that is how GIS works in our world. Re re reason. Yeah. Okay, so you mentioned about the past and the now. So how about the future? Because how about the future? How GIS will help our future, help human beings to have a better future? That is all the question. Uh, people are asking right now. But before that, we have to face the fact that we are facing a lot of different challenges like this. Okay, polar bears. Polar bears, yes, polar bears. Polar bears are also facing a lot of different challenges like oh, it's too hot, all the ice are melting, they don't have a place to live, and also they don't lack of food, but then they have to compete with the continents. Uh, brown bears, you mean? Yes, brown okay. bears. Okay, so yes. Of course, they are facing a lot of different challenges. Okay, so first, who operates land with human beings? Yes, land human beings. So actually, that is why we're so keen to find out the solution, find out the key technology to bring human uh, a better future. Okay, so now is the future. Yes, now is the future, because now what kind, what, uh, what we decide right now will influence what kind of the future we're going to have. So. To make a better decision and for the better future is very important. And that's why we introduced GIS here because it's the key technology. Yes, it's the key technology to bring a better world that uh, our future should be designed every by everyone. Yes, the future is for ours and so it should not be uh, decided by only those mm -hmm. professionals researchers in the university. Yes, of course, because everyone, we participate in this world. Everyone should have the ability to decide what kind of future we're going to have. So you are going to decide it. But then I've heard that GIS is a little bit difficult to learn and use. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, the GIS in the past, yes, of course, it is kind of the, uh, it's very professional, so it is kind of hard to use. But that is why SuperGeo is here. We provide a solution called the Super GIS, and that is the GIS technology for everyone. Yes, as you can see here, SuperGeo provides total GIS solution from 2D to 3D so that you can understand your country, your city, and just the road in front of a house. Yes, just the road in front of the house. You have to get to know about it so you can find a parking space easily. Yes, then that is why we provide the best solution and helping people to make a right decision. Yes, exactly. So SuperGeo is here to provide you GIS solution to plan a sustainable future. And that is now your turn to get to know more about SuperGeo and how we help you to plan a sustainable future. Thank, Thank you. you.